Mueller's mandate was to investigate links between the Trump campaign and Russia and whether there was any coordination between those two entities, Trump associates and members of the Russian government or Russians in general, and then to investigate any crimes that arise out of that in the course of that investigation. So Barr has told congressional leaders that he has received the report from the special counsel, that he will review it, and that he will provide lawmakers and the public with a summary of principal findings as soon as this weekend. He is currently at the Justice Department reviewing the report he received from Mueller. At some point, House Democrats who have the leadership in that chamber will decide what to do, if anything, with the findings. We've heard indications from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that she's not interested at the moment in discussing impeachment. And we will have to see how damaging or incriminating, if at all, the findings are to the president and whether that will affect that calculus. Right now, the big push that we're hearing from House Democrats is that they want the entire Mueller report. They want to see everything that Mueller gathered and collected before they decide anything. And so instead of impeachment talk, what we're hearing right now is discussion of possibly subpoenaing for the report or subpoenaing Mueller to get that. There's no question that White House uh, aides and Trump confidants are taking a degree of satisfaction, at least at this moment, that there are no further indictments that have been delivered or that are expected from the special counsel. And so to the extent that that, that has occurred, that's a, a degree of relief for, for them. But I think everybody's still waiting to see exactly what the report indicates about the Trump campaign and then the Trump administration. Um, and so it's a little bit of a holding pattern, but the president who has spent the last basically two years attempting to undermine or sow doubt in the uh, credibility of the investigation has been noticeably quiet over the last 24 hours with no tweets about it and no public statements about it. The special counsel has indicated that he has not recommended any additional charges or indictments. And so that would mean that he has effectively closed up shop and that no one else will be indicted by Robert Mueller. However, it's important to note that there are all sorts of other investigations going on that originated as referrals from the special counsel that he began investigating and recognized fell without, outside of his mandate. And so he referred those back to the Justice Department, which then sent them to individual offices of the Justice Department, including in New York City and in Virginia.